Hi, welcome back to Dr. Donovan, Medicine Made Easy. In today's video, you're going to be hearing the classical sound of mitral regurge. But before this, let's quickly cover a few things. First of all, we're going to cover what is mitral regurge. We'll then go over the symptoms. We'll then listen to one of the classical sounds of mitral regurge. And finally, we'll go over some treatment options. So first of all, the mitral valve is a heart valve that lies between the left atrium and the left ventricle. Mitral regurge is sometimes called mitral insufficiency or mitral incompetence. You might hear those words being used interchangeably. In mitral regurge, the valve doesn't close properly. This causes blood to leak back or regurgitate into the left atrium when the left ventricle contracts. Basically, the more open the valve remains, the more blood regurgitates and the more severe the problem. So what symptoms might you experience? Well, some mitral regurge may not cause any symptoms if it's mild. However, the more severe it gets, it can cause shortness of breath, especially with activity or if you lie down, as well as tiredness, heart palpitations, or swollen ankles, which the medical team usually refer to as edema. So let's go ahead and listen to a sound of mitral regurge. So now that we've gone over the sound symptoms as well as the causes, let's talk a little bit about treatment. Well, there are medications available for mitral regurge, and although they don't solve it, they can help with some of the symptoms. So for example, those could include angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, known as ACE inhibitors, water tablets known as diuretics, and anticoagulation medications. Surgical treatment is also sometimes needed. Recent guidelines favour surgery at an earlier stage than used to be the case. And essentially you've got two main options, valve repair or valve replacement. This valve replacement can be mechanical or a tissue valve. Recent guidelines tend to favour replacement rather than repair. And if you need surgery, a surgeon will advise you on what the best option is for your particular situation. So finally, what's the outlook for people with mitral regurge? In some cases, the disorder is mild and causes no symptoms. And if you do develop symptoms, they tend to become gradually worse over time. However, speed of decline can vary. Medication, as we've already said, can ease symptoms, but cannot reverse a damaged valve. Surgical treatment has generally improved the outlook in most people with severe regurge, and surgery generally has a very good success rate. However, this depends again on individual case by case basis. If you've enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for new videos every Wednesday, every Sunday. And if you've enjoyed it, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you've got any questions, please also write to me. And if you have any concerns about those symptoms we talked about, so breathlessness, palpitations, swelling ankles, make sure you visit your local or nearest healthcare provider. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. And until next time, bye. Thank you.